And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Welcome to the Dice Tower. Hey, I'm Tom Vassell. And I'm Holly. <laughs> and today we're taking a look at Mega Monster City Smash. Now, I was very interested in this game because uh, I, I heard that it was two monsters with remote controls moving around a board, smashing down buildings. Doesn't that sound amazing? I think it does too. Uh, the box for the game, not quite so amazing. Companies, I wish that the United States and every other country in the world would pass a law making these sort of boxes illegal for games. Because, guess what guys? When you make a game, we would like to keep the game in the box! This box is garbage! Okay, but let's forget about whether the box is garbage or not. How does the game play? Are you ready? Okay, one person's going to pick the giant gorilla. We're just going to call him King Kong for short. And the other person is going to pick the dinosaur, a giant lizard piece, and we'll call him Godzilla for short. Okay, both of these have a switch on them that needs to be on, and they also need batteries, but they, um, the batteries for them come inside. The batteries for the, here, you'll need to add some batteries to the remote control. Now, what you're going to do is, each player is going to take turns and they're going to have stacks of buildings that they're six high. These buildings come apart. There's some pretty good plastic. They fit together, but at the same time, they're just wobbly enough. And you'll take turns putting them on the board. Then each player is going to put their person on a start location on either side of the board. Now, you're going to be using the remote to control your guy. So there's two ways to move it. You can press forward and the monster will move forward. You can pull back and the, it will spin around. You also can hear that it makes noises um, as, the, as it's going and moving around. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to knock over the other buildings as soon as you possibly can before the other player. If your guy falls off the board or runs off the board, you can put him back on a start spot. So we're going to try to show you a game here. Hopefully this will work. Ready, set, go. Get away from me, yeah! All right. <laughs> I think you're knocking all the buildings over. There we go, come on, come on. Oh, I just realized all the brown buildings have fallen, so that means that Holly has won and Godzilla has reigned triumphant. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you play the game. All right, Holly, what did you think of the game? I liked destroying, and I always win. Okay, yeah, do you always win? I think I won once or twice. Once. How many times did we play? Like ten? Three. No, we. Oh, I've. Oh no, I played other people besides you. Well, I've won more than once. That's not the point. The point is, this game is silly fun. Moving the monsters around with the remote controls and knocking things over. But there's one big problem with this game. The problem for me with this game is the remote controls do not work that well. Do you think that's true? Oh, they're easy to use when you learn how to use them. <laughs> yeah, but you're constantly having to move up close and pull back. And uh, sometimes you press it and your guy doesn't move. That happens a lot. Yeah, if you're not close to it. Yeah, and you, or sometimes, you know, it doesn't matter. My guy's moving all the way across the board right now, all the way from here. But sometimes he doesn't decide to move. It's kind of capricious. It's moving great. And now he's spinning great. But when you saw in the video, he didn't always spin that well when I did it. And sometimes they can get locked together, which is kind of funny too. The game is silly fun. But I just wish these remote controls, maybe it's not possible for them to have made these better or stronger. I don't know. Um, but as it is, I, that kind of detracts from me a little bit. The bad quality box and bad quality remotes. But it's still fun to knock over buildings. Mm -hmm. So what would you give this game? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I really want to do the same thing, but it's kind of frustrating. 
um, when your, your thing doesn't work as well. But other than that, it's silly fun. Just move around, smash stuff. And who likes smashing stuff? We do. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Boop. Boop.